what makes me uh, proud to be Scottish is uh, uh, our cuisine, which gets a bit of a hard time around the world. But uh, I think it's pretty great. Nothing I look more forward to when I come home than, than a rolling sausage or a rolling pie. I love it. And iron brew as well. So yeah, Scottish food deserves a bit more praise than it gets. We've always been quite patriotic. I, I reckon we should, we should always celebrate it. Well, if I was to have a great big party for St Andrew's Day, do not ask me to strip a willow, please, because it brings back those terrible memories of being left on the wall bars as all the boys came rushing over and I'm like standing like this when nobody wanted to do the country dancing with me. So no stripping of willows. I don't know, what would it be? Just lots of good, funny Scottish people. And everyone else would be welcome too, not exclusive. I think I'd book Billy Connolly. That's, he's quintessentially Scottish to me. He'd be the main act. We'd sit around, have a wee drink and laugh at Billy. That would be perfect. I am very proud of being Scottish. It's, it's, I don't know what it is, it's a sense that people have tried to define a million times. For me, it's a, it's a sense of humour, it's a sense of generosity, and it's a sense of humility, which sometimes can get a bit chippy, but never mind. I just love being Scottish, and whenever I'm away and I come home, I just feel... Well, I've moved back to Scotland now because I got really homesick. I missed all my friends and my family. Um, I missed the sense of humour. I missed the belly laughs. I missed the food. And I even missed the rain, to be honest. Um, and it's just great being back. It's really, really good. I also love St Andrew's Day because it also happens to be my birthday. And when I was a little girl, we used to get the day off school and it made me feel very special as if it was just for me. But I would absolutely love to go back to that to uh, make St Andrew's Day a holiday. Um, and I always celebrate it, of course, every year with a cake and all the rest of it. So it's a huge, big celebration for me and it's just great fun. When I travel around the world, I think one of the things that makes me proud to be Scottish is the reaction of people to Scottishness around the world. You know, the quality of people that Scotland has produced for such a small nation has, you know, a place in uh, a lot of people throughout the world's hearts. The equivalent of celebrating uh, St George's Day, I think, would be an opportunity to celebrate our nationality, Scottishness. Um, I think we would, however, have to be a little bit careful that it didn't just become a second Burns' Supper, that make it much more of a family event. If I could have a no expenses spared, St Andrew's Day party, I think I would take all my friends and relatives to St Andrew's. I think we would stay there, those that wanted to play golf would play golf, those that wanted to relax would relax and uh, we'd have a big party to celebrate it. I'll be celebrating St Andrew's Day by stopping at the nearest bakery and buying myself the biggest, fattest, lardiest sausage roll known to man. And then I'll be stopping at the local shop and I'll be buying a bottle of that famous orange stuff to wash it down with. Well, what is not to love about being Scottish? It's a fantastic nation and being a part of it is, is the way ahead. kidding like we need an excuse to have a party but I think another holiday would always be a good idea so we should make St Andrew's Day a national holiday to save everyone taking sick days. St Andrew's Day has often had more of an international celebration our Scots abroad have traditionally celebrated it more than Scots at home and I, I think we all should celebrate it you know I think there's nothing uh, self-effacing about our celebrations now. <laughs> I'd invite uh, Sandy Tom, because she's, uh, she's doing Caledonia for us for homecoming. I have to invite Sean Connery or, or get in trouble. I'd invite Mary Queen of Scots because a romantic figure from uh, Scottish history, soon to be played in, uh, by Scarlett Johansson. Uh, so if Mary Queen of Scots wasn't available herself, then Scarlett Johansson would do. And Rabbi Burns for definite, my, my Scot of the millennium. That would be my ideal uh, St Andrew's Day party. 
think a perfect St Andrew's Day for me would be to go to a friend's house where they've done all the work, but I'd be wanting to see, as I've been involved in interior design for many, many years, I'd like to see they made an effort for me coming along. I would like to see an effort into the, the transformation of their home into a St Andrew's Day paradise. When I lived in London, I had a St Andrew's party, and can I just say, Every element of Scotland was there. There was tartan, there was whisky. The interior, you can imagine, was tartantastic. But my haggis balls were a triumph. I'm incredibly proud to be Scottish. I just love the fact that we're a race of fantastic people, open, welcoming, we know how to have a good time. I personally would like to see long processions and floats going down either Princess Street or Gow Street or the main street in every town and city in Scotland. But also I think I'd like to visit everyone's home and check that they've got the element of St Andrew's in their home. And if that means me having a drink to congratulate them all and celebrate St Andrew's Day in every home in Scotland, I'm the man for the job. Most St Andrew's nights or St Andrew's days, I'm usually traveling at the, uh, the World Cup series. So, you know, usually I'm some far-flung part of the globe, um, so maybe, maybe in a couple of years' time I'll have a chance to actually enjoy it at home. I'm proud to be Scottish because wherever you go in the world, people recognise the Scots as a, a friendly nation, as a, a nation passionate about their country, and uh, it's, it's a great place to, to live and to be part of. Certainly for those that live away from home, I live in, in, in Manchester now to be based there for, with the cycling team, and uh, it'd be nice to have something that when you maybe weren't at home in Scotland, you could you could all get together and, and enjoy it all. I suppose my ideal fantasy St Andrew's night would be set in my hometown in Edinburgh. It would be up at the castle. It's just the most incredible place, you know, the, the most amazing views and just that feeling of history and um, it makes you really proud to be from that city. So to have that as the venue would be spectacular and to have my family, my friends and just everybody that I, I kind of miss when I'm spending most of the year travelling, um, that would be the ideal St Andrew's night for me. My St Andrew's Day um, this year is definitely different to last year. Last year I was um, in the show on the X Factor and um, I was going through all the motions and that. And this time around, you know, I'm a recording artist, you know, it's totally different for me, it's great. I think on St Andrew's Day it should be family orientated and you should spend it with your loved ones um, and do something a wee bit Scottish, you know, have some haggis and have a wee dram. I'd go to the bars. Go to the Barrowlands. Um, I'd definitely invite all the Scottish musical artists, so I think it'll be great fun just to have a big jamming session. I'm proud to be Scottish because I, like, I love the people, how friendly the people are in Scotland. I think you become even more Scottish when you move away, so um, I'm definitely proud to be Scottish, it's great. I know we had a few good St Andrew's days when I was at school. Do you know what I would do, actually? I would probably go to the house that my mum grew up in and um, invite all my friends from school, invite all our family that I don't get to see often enough, and, and being in that place for me would be the perfect St Andrew's day. Isn't it just another excuse for people to have a good party? <laughs> Um, but I think, I mean, why not? I think, I think it's, it's, another, it's another day to feel proud to be Scottish. Lots of things make me proud to be Scottish. I, um, I went to school, a music school in London. I think I was always had the feeling of going home to Scotland and appreciating so much just the landscape, appreciating some fresher air, appreciating the people, appreciating the kind of honest feeling around you. I feel proud to be Scottish in every way, really.